Ferenzi fired, who I expected to be coming from off the pace, was out like a shot. Yeah, he was I mean, he is right there yep. uh, in front and uh, goes on to win it by a neck at $4.80 to win. The nine horse, where she told me to go, who was 17 to 1, who was last of the first furlong and about 83 <laughs> wide on the mm -hmm. far turn, makes a huge run. Mm -hmm. And then Dick. What was that at the end? Did, did, did he try? That was a savaging. He tried to bite him. It's a question of was he trying to bite Forense Fire or was he trying to bite Arad Ortiz or both? Huh? Uh, nobody got hurt, fortunately. Keith, I've seen this a few times before. I know you said you've never seen it in a race. 32 years, I've never yeah, seen a savage. I, I have seen it a couple of times, but it's very unusual. And I don't know whether it's the horse just got irritated because he couldn't get by the other horse. I'm not sure what prompts that, but the fans got a kick out of it. Oh, they you could hear it, it live, yes. and then each time they showed the replay on the big board, it's like ah. Oh. <laughs> so it was uh, it was an interesting day out here to say the least. We saw some things we haven't seen before. And I got to give credit to our buddy Lafitte on the broadcast. Maybe yes. the best line of the day. <laughs> if you can't beat him, bite, bite him. him. Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> amazing running at the gallop, Bob. <laughs>